Peter, what's up, my man? My wife and I are at a crossroads with our church, and we're, we're trying to decide as to whether we should stay, and uh, we're not in agreement on it. Uh-oh, so just, okay. I, so what's my, going on with your question, uh, church? So this is a church uh, I've been to since I was a, a young boy. I'm an adult now with kids. Okay. And um, we had a pastor change about four years ago, and there have been some disagreements on the way things should work. There's been little hurts. There's been a little offenses. Um, and it's like, you're talking, pretty, one thing you're one talking one. pretty vague, like little hurts, little offenses right. po- pointed at your wife, at the church community. What do you, what do you, what, who's hurting what? Well, so our pastor came in and is, is, I don't even know how to say this. The initial offense was with my wife. She was, she had lost a uh, close family member, and uh, no one from the church leadership really reached out to her, or did anything like that. Okay. Um, and so that was a, a deep seed hurt. Um, there were some very progressive attitudes yeah. uh, from our, our leadership regarding um, race and taking offenses at, uh, at uh, different decorations. Um, here they've brought into the church that I've disagreed with. Okay. And again, it's not all bad. It just seems like it's little cuts here and there that keep building. And, and my wife has had enough, and I would like to stay and work through it. And I know I'm not a grass is greener kind of guy, so I understand that. Nowhere is going to be perfect, but it's caused quite a bit of stress in our relationship in the last year or so. And we're trying to figure out how to work through it together. Gotcha. So this is less about when do you leave a church and more about... How do you and your wife come together to make decisions for the both of you, right? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's all been centered around the church, so, sure. yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the easy neon sign to point at. Um, so what? what is it that you want to stick around for? Well, I still have family there. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, again, the there's going to be a stress in leaving that church and finding another church and Getting and you know establishing relationships that way. Um, Why does she want to leave? I, she just tired. Of, well, she tired of, of listening of to you. Is she tired of every week? It's another thing that you're upset about, and she's like, "Let's just go." Or is she saying, "If I keep going to this place, um, I'm going to continue to be uncomfortable." Uh, yes, some of that. Um, I, I seem to have a beef. More often than not, with something that's happened or something that's been said, most of her friends are gone from yeah. that church now. A lot of people have left our church uh, since the new pastor has come. Um, uh, so let me ask you this. What is yeah. what is winning look like here? Or let me ask you this. <sighs> let me back it up before that. You talk about there's new attitudes on progressive thought there's new attitudes on race there's new attitudes on hey we're gonna do things differently Mm -hmm. are you interested in sitting down and learning new things tell me about why this is or are you more interested in this is the way this is supposed to be y'all are not doing it the way it's supposed to be done and i'm (laughs) gonna be here and i'm gonna engage with this community until we get it back to the way it's supposed to be what are your two? That's kind of a binary choice. Which one are? Where are you? Well, I've certainly had to swallow my own pride in willing to. Say that again. You've swallowed your own pride in what? Yeah, I lost you, man. Are you still there? Yeah, there we go. So you had to okay. swallow your own pride in. Yeah, I've had to learn new things. Okay. Um, and I've had to accept that, but at the same time, I think there are certain foundational things I'm not willing to move on. And I've resisted that, spoke to my pastor about it, so not being per se. Um, so yeah, I guess I, I'm kind of a little bit of both. Okay. Sounds like you, I mean, there's one or two choices, man. It sounds like your wife is tired of either her husband hurting Tired of her husband's whining about it or tired of um, 
not being in any sort of agreement. And so she's like, man, let's just go somewhere else. And this is a place That's that you probably lo- pretty well summed up. Okay. And you've got deep seated roots here. You love this place. You love what it's been about. More importantly, you love what it has meant to you meant past tense. And right. now it is, you're looking to what the future is going to look like and you don't know what that's going to look like. And here's, here's what I'm gonna tell you, man, this ends up at some point with you leaving or you running a minister out of town and nobody feels good on the back end of that either. Right. And those are my only two choices. I mean, what's the third choice? Give, give Keep me the way we're going. <laughs> give me what a win is going to look like for you. That one day your, your pastor is going to call you in and be like, you know what, man, you're right. I'm wrong. Let's go back to the way it was. I'm going to do a couple of sermons on how to how to go back. You know what I mean? Like, what what do you I think, think of, the win looks like? Uh, well, for the sake of sounding arrogant, I'm hopeful my wife can address some of her hurts and grow past it and form. But yeah, I don't hey, know. I, I, I did, yeah, I, the risk, I risk of sounding arrogant. Say it one more time. Yeah, I lost you, man. Um, so he- here's the thing. Um, when you find yourself in a place where a community is moving one direction or the other from you, and you have learned some new things, but there's also a lines that you're not going to cross, whatever that may be, right? Let me, I'm trying to think of one that's, non, that's not a third rail. Um, thinking about like learning math, my, my son, I started teaching him the, the way I learned math, which evidently isn't cool anymore. And it's not the right way to teach a kid how to do math. My son is so much better at math than I was. And my wife attributes that to new teaching models of math. And at first I was like, oh, they're just messing with these kids these days. Back in the old days, I had to memorize the facts and whatever. And my wife's like, how'd that work out for you? And I was like, well played. And so I sat down and had my son teach me a few new things. I thought, man, that's really good. And I did think, man, there's just some stuff you got to memorize, right? You just got to memorize that nine times nine is 81, right? You just got to memorize some stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm not teaching math. I'm not absorbed in it. I'm, I'm stepping out of that conversation. I'm not going to engage with it anymore. I trust my teachers that are teach- the teachers are teaching my son, and then they're moving on with it, right? And so at some point, you got to say, hey, this community's moved on to a different place, right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm going to mourn it and grieve it, and then I'm going to go create a new community. Wishing your wife would change the way she feels, change, I don't think it has to do with getting over her issues, man. I think it has to do with she's tired of listening to you. She's tired of every Sunday. Church is supposed to be a place where we go all say, hey, we're all broken. We're all screwed up. And we all look at each other and go, oh, man, me too. You too. And everybody exhales and everybody locks arms. And then we go serve the least of these. We feed the homeless. We take care of the poor. And then we go about our week. And then we circle back. And when church turns into fights and yelling and let's let's go to war against everyone else, man, it's just it, it's not what it was designed to be. And so I, my guess is your wife's done with that part of it. And man, I'm gonna tell you, you're you can go to war with them, man. Try to get the guy fired. Try to bring your church back to its roots and make some changes, and you can do that. And if you find peace in that, then so be it. My thought on when it's time to leave a church is this. When they're no longer upholding their mission to care for widows and orphans, when they spend more money on the church show, on the lasers and the smoke than they are on actually serving others, when their identity becomes one of a fighting culture, other people, other churches, fighting takes precedence over cups of water, feeding orphans, taking care of the least of these. That's when me and my family, that's when we're out, right? That's when we're out. When church becomes a show, when it becomes a performance, um, that's when we're going to step away. It also is a place where we hold each other accountable, right? We have hard conversations. But if we wait until these last few moments to do that, if we wait until these third rail political, man, it's already lost it. 
So I don't know if that answers your question, brother. I'm sorry I lost you there, but um, it sounds to me like y'all are done. And I'd love to sit, have you sit down with your wife and say, I think I want to go find another place. Where would you like to go? And then just go visit some other places, man. Try it and see what that'll look like for you.